And so today is the official apostolic installation service. Here we go again. All right, guys, as you can see, <laughs> Greg Locke um, has been promoted to an apostle. And th this is several reasons why this is impossible. Number one, an apostle has to be appointed by Jesus Christ himself. They have to be eyewitnesses of Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection. You cannot promote someone to be an apostle. And the Lord would not appoint a person like Greg Locke, a known false teacher, uh, a, a person that says Christians can be possessed by demons, a person who cheats on his wife with uh, uh, another person's wife that he married, okay, um, after divorcing his wife, this is a very convoluted thing. Um, the Lord would not appoint Greg Locke. Okay, now before we continue, why don't you take a look at the rest of this clip? Roll it. The Bible says in First Corinthians chapter twelve and in verse twenty-eight, the Lord has appointed to the church first. Apostles, second, prophets, third, teachers. We are here today, Pastor Greg, Pastor Ty, today also to say Apostle Greg and Apostle Ty. What the hell did you just say? We are here today, Pastor Greg, Pastor Ty, today also to say Apostle Greg and Apostle Ty. To officially recognize what so many have recognized for many years. Nine months ago, in this place, Pastor Mike Signorelli gave a word at the end of the National Deliverance Conference. Something was conceived in the spirit that today we're giving birth to. Amen? Who are you? Amen. And so today is the official apostolic installation service. And also, just in case you didn't know this, this is also Pentecost Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and so, it is an honor for all of us here, and all of us here, and everybody online, to stand with you. But to also say we recognize the gift of the Holy Spirit that has been placed within you. You see, the apostolic is biblical. From all the way throughout scripture, and especially in the New Testament, we find in the book of Romans, chapter number 12, the Lord said he gave a, a measure of, of grace through the Spirit for gifts to the church for the edification of the body. And then the verse we read in 1 Corinthians, chapter 12. And then you go to the book of Ephesians, and the Lord yet again says, for the building up of the church, for the edification of the saints, and for God's glory to rest in the church, there has to be apostles. There has to be prophets, there has to be evangelists, and there has to be teachers. That's what God's doing in this hour. And so we unashamedly, convictionally stand on the authority of the Word of God for everything that is happening in this moment. Jesus Christ loves Global Vision Bible Church so much, so much, that He not only has given them once an evangelist, a teacher, a prophet, a pastor, but now an apostle. What? 
Bro, what are you talking about, man? You are by far one of the very few human beings I have known on this earth that has walked in every single one of those giftings. You are by far one of the very few human beings I have known on this earth that has walked in every single one of those giftings. The Lord knew the timing of this day. You did not. He did. He knew when it was birth nine months ago of what would happen on this day. And this isn't just for you. I also believe it's you as well. It's not just Pastor Greg and Pastor Ty. It's Apostle Greg and Apostle Ty. What is your major malfunction? I believe that with every fiber of my being. And we affirm that. In just a few hours, he'll be getting on a plane to head to the Philippines in an apostolic move of God, the likes of which that country and this church has never seen. Many people are not going to understand. It'll be more ammunition for them to do what they've always done, mock and rebuke. But I like our way of doing it better than their way of not doing it. So I'd like to invite our hub leaders, what represent an apostolic movement that already exists in this house, to come and lay hands on this dynamic, powerful, anointed by God couple who are one in the Lord, moving forward, representing one faith, one Lord, one baptism. And so church, would you lift your hands together now as we join as one and pray, Father, we thank you so much for the fruit that has been okay born. as you can see greg Locke has fulfilled all the offices pastor preacher teacher now apostle okay apparently him and his new wife okay they're both apostles i guess it's a two for one deal going on um <laughs> But, you know, this guy, we've, we've done videos on him before. We, we know he's false. He's, he's, uh, this is nothing new, okay? This is just a, the progression of false teachers and false apostles, uh, especially uh, uh, the ones found in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Um, Jesus did warn us about these guys in the last days, that they will rise from within the church. Uh, Paul warns, of the, uh, warns us of that in the book of Acts. But guys, this is just a quick video to show that Greg Locke has went has gone to another level of apostasy, right? He has now uh, promoted himself to a false apostle. Uh, he was just a minister of unrighteousness before, but now we could add false apostle on top of that. All right, my friends, listen. Until next time, look up. Our redemption draws near. Maranatha and God bless.